Kamasu. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, Stitching Goddess Designs. On Instagram, you can find me at Athena X Stitches. Look, I always forget to say that part. Um, and it's funny, it's like, as soon as I hit record and I'm going to start, I remember what I forgot to bring. It's okay, we'll show it next time. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch. Welcome if you're new here. Thank you for coming back if you're returning. I so much appreciate it. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I'm going to do this real quick because like, I can't live with my hair down. It's like, I know, ugh, yeah, my curls are all over the place. This is like day three hair. And I know at least one person that would like to see this. So here we go. <laughs> this is literally how I do. My messy buns. <laughs> well, you didn't know you were getting a bun tutorial, did you? <laughs> this is also a channel about um, Harry Potter, if you can't tell behind me. Um, I always forget to say that. Part two. Okay, so look, I pulled it part way through. There you go. I got all this tail hanging out back here. Curl it. Wrap it around. Grab the ends. Stick it back inside your ponytail. Then you pile it up on the uh, pile on your head, and then you kind of just like pull some of this hair out a little bit, pull it forward, whatever, mess with it until you like the way it looks. Messy bun tutorial. Then you just throw bobby pins at it and make it stay put because nobody likes a messy bun that gets out of control. Look at that, real time. Like, what was that, less than a minute? There you go, one person I know who is asking about that. That's how you do your hair. And then you wanna pull some out. There you go, pull a little bit out. Okay, do it. Um, although, I mean, practice makes perfect, like I do this every day, so practice. Okay. Cross stitch. What have I been up to? I don't even know if I brought my phone over here with me, guys. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually have like a tiny bit of notes. Um, what's been going on this last week? What has been going on this last week? What? What have I done with my life? Um, my husband's granddaughter. She's eleven. Kind of got stuck here for a couple of days. So we did, we had her this weekend. We did get her home eventually though, luckily. Um, we've had wicked weather out here, like storms, raining, thunder, lightning. Um, like every day for like five or six days. I wish that some of this rain would head out west where they actually need it. I mean, we need it here too, don't get me wrong, but they need it a lot more than we do. Um, what else happened this last week since I've talked to you guys? Um, we did, we're just like putting final touches on getting the retreat together for Frog Wars starting and, um, Black Needle Society retreat is right after that, the Night Garden themed retreat. So we've been busy getting final touches done on that. Um... We had a Black Needle Society uh, free stitch and chat on Saturday, so I was there for that. And then on Sunday, we had like a warm up, get like for maybe who people who haven't been doing Zooms or video chats, it's a time for them to come in, test out their devices, see what works, what doesn't work, um, just try different things. So we were on there Sunday afternoon, and Sunday afternoon was the kickoff start I have one hair that's just like hanging in front of my eyes was the start the password was given at 11 50 a.m central time to start frog Wars year two band sampler pattern um you started at when that password is given or after and then you finish it during retreat and if you finish it during retreat you get 100 points Individual points, but they also go towards your house, too. 
there it is. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but it's like hanging in my eye. Um, oh my goodness, why? I think I got it. <laughs> real life, folks, real life. Okay, fast forward past all this craziness. Um, I don't get points for participating in Frogwarts because obviously I'm an employee, but, um, I thought it would be really fun to just stitch along. I mean, I was kind of back and forth, back and forth on whether I was going to push myself to do this or not. Obviously it's not going to be like the end all I'm, um, going to die if I don't make it, but I think it's going to be like a fun challenge. I did it last year, so I know I can do it. Which means, I mean, I think I want to just push to do it again. Um, and, I mean, it's it's a good challenge, but it's also a good way to just get this one started and get it done. That way, next year, when the next one comes out, you don't have it so sitting as a whip hanging around. Um, so, I was back and forth on whether I was actually going to start it and do it. And I still needed to dye fabric because I dyed my own 18 count um, for year one. It's over there. That's why I keep looking over there. Sorry. Um, but then Katie and Lara ran down to ran ran down to uh, Branson to Cecilia Samplers, and they had some stuff that they needed to pick up down there. So while they were down there, I'm sorry, I'm looking down. They picked up a few things for me. They were going through some 18 count fabrics, and they found, boom. Um, this 18 count Harvest Blessings 12 by 19. That's kind of price on there too. But this is the call for this is what Katie called for for the pattern. And it was there. And it's 18 count. And it's a perfect size. And I didn't have to dye it. Yes. So um there's that. And then I mean I think it was just game time decision on whether I was gonna start it or not. I could show you the pattern that I've been talking about this whole entire time. This is a pattern by the Black Needle Society. This is year two band sampler. It says pattern number three up here, which confuses a lot of people, but this is actually the third pattern that Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society has ever um, designed. So there you go. Um, next year's band sampler is going to say something like seven or eight because she's releasing a lot of patterns this year. Um... The, what was else? Uh, the only way to get this is through the retreat. Um, she will release these patterns after all seven are complete. But if you want to get one each year, like you need to be in the retreat this year to get year two. But if you join next year, if you get an open spot next year, you can choose. Like you will have the option to put year two in with your year three box and, and year three. So you can catch up like. If you join a year five, you can get one, two, three, four, and five in your box. Um, it's, ob it's obviously you're gonna have to pay for them, but yeah, by joining the retreat, you can get the current pattern plus all the back patterns if you do not have them. Good tip for you guys. So, I'm not counting my stitches. Um, I know a lot of people are using Pattern Keeper, so they're really keeping track and they're counting and they're seeing how many they're getting per day. I just feel like it's going to take more of my time to count the stitches than and it should just be stitching instead of counting. So whatever, I'm just stitching. This is where I'm at. This is how far I've been. I don't know if you can tell this fabric's got like a hint of greens and pinks in it, but it's really just, um, I mean, it's really just a neutral. So this is the top of the pattern right here. So I probably should have given myself gone up there a little bit more. I just found the center of the fabric and went with it. Um, there is some more down here. Obviously the snake's going to be down here and then the, um, the bottom diamonds and the bottom border. Jeez, the words. <laughs> bottom border. I couldn't think of the word border. Uh, so I've got Aragog completely done. I've almost finished the, um, one color in the tree. I ran out of old purple paint and then somebody told me, commented, that it's really hard to find. So I didn't actually get to my LNS today. I hope it's not. I mean, I hope I can find some. And I actually haven't even like just checked to see if I have an extra skein. 
I, may, I, I should check. But I ran out of old purple paint, so I need to fill in a little bit here. And then there's an extra color in the um, trunk there, and then that'll be done. And then I got one spider put in, and then I completed um, the Flying Ford car. <laughs> I'm a super Harry Potter fan, but I swear to God, every time I pronounce the Flying Ford, I always want to say Angelia, but it's not Angelia. It's something else. <laughs> You know what? I watched somebody that were, or somebody was saying, maybe it was during the chat, is like how people say these words is how they were saying them while they were reading. And I feel like that's how I was saying it while I was reading. Um, let's see what Google says. Flying forward. I mean, tell me that doesn't look like Angelia. Angelia. Sorry, you guys are just going to watch me do this. Anglia. Anglia! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you, Google. Flying Ford Anglia. <laughs> the more you guys know, we'll get there together. Okay, so this is not charted, uh, or this is not stitched at, in the called for colors. Um... The called for colors were, I have all my colors here. Um, the called for colors were, uh, da, 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 da. it was definitely, Midnight was one of them. And then the other one was Deep Sea. So they were called for, or the, the car was called for in these colors. Um, those are a little bit too dark for my liking. And I know that Katie was trying to go with, I mean, you try to use the colors you've already got. You know what I mean? You don't want to add more and more and more colors if there's going to be like five bajillion colors in a pattern. So you try to work with the blues you already have in the pattern. Um, Beth from Busy Bee Silly Me, Busy Bee Stitches, she... Um, was messaging me and said that she was gonna pull different colors. So I went ahead and copied the numbers that she pulled, and sorry guys, my skeins are like a mess. But these are the colors, and y'all can tell how old these are. So this is 519, right here. It's getting a little bit blown out. And this is 518, look at these um, labels. <laughs> this is a fun story. Um, I had a friend of mine who was helping a friend of hers clean out his mom's house. His mom had passed away and she came across like a huge bag full of uh, DMC and JP coats. And she sent it to me. She said, I know you stitch, so use it if you want to use it, toss it if you don't want to toss it or if you don't want it, just y y here you go. So I salvaged all the DMC in there. Um, not a fan of JP coats. Plus I didn't want to like do the, I'm super lazy. I don't want to do the work to convert. So I saved these ones, but you can see how old these labels are guys. Like the number labels. Um, I think eighties, seventies. <laughs> Look, I just called myself super old. Um, but they still work. They are not the same, um, colors as what, Beth was using. They're in the same, I mean, I feel like 518 was a little bit darker. 519 was a little bit lighter than what I had to work with. So you can see slight shadowing over here where the darker color is, but not a whole bunch. But I still love it. I think it came out great. Um, Look, I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. I'm earning zone winners because I'm like on the floor, killing my back, stretching, hype, talking fast. I'm all out of breath. <sighs> Let's all take a zen moment and calm down. We're going to be okay. The other thing that Beth changed and I therefore changed was the steering wheel placement. 
I still haven't even told Katie about this yet. But steering wheel needs to be on the um, other side because it's in England. So, and then the seats. The seats inside the car. Can you see them? The seats were called for... I think in, yes, in this color. Again, really dark. I was going to be able to see the steering wheel. So I grabbed, it's, it's still in the same, it's still in the called for colors. I, caught, I grabbed chocolate cream pie and then I fussy cut and used the lighter bits in there to stitch the seats so that you would be able to see the steering wheel. That is stitched on the correct side. So I need to like stitch a um, spider web in here. And there's like some spider web right here too. Yeah, this is my progress. This is two days of stitching. So look at me go. Like I can do it. It's just a matter of like forcing myself to sit down and do it. So this was Sunday. Um, I, Sunday I did most of Aragog and some of the tree trunk while sitting on that chat and we got our password and everything. And then Monday I did all of this kind of stuff up here and all of the car. So there we go. Hopefully by next week when I show you guys, I will have a ton of progress. Um, probably I will finish this pattern at like the deadline on Sunday. Uh, and I'm fine with it. I don't get the hundred points, but like I said, I think it's a good challenge that I get it done and then I can hang it up with my hair line, which keeps going crooked because the door is right there. And it's like, I need to figure out a solution to the problem. Um, okay. All that, I showed you all of Frogworts done. Now, um, what else did I stitch on this week? What else did I stitch on? I worked on my Spooky Hollow. I got uh, the base of the little disco ball st it stitched in there. It's got like a ton of back stitching to go with it. So I've got the base in. I completely finished the fill in of this white. I need to go back in with the black and put in a bunch of back stitching there. But I was thinking that I was doing that on Friday night chat and because her back stitch um depends on you having stitched two over two um it's harder to follow on ada so it takes a lot of concentration I, in short i wasn't going to be able to do that during a chat I needed focus for that um that's 18 count ada that i hand dyed myself and the chart I don't have with me is Spooky Hollow from Little Stitch Girl. Um, pattern number three in the series. Okay. Then I also worked on and completed, you guys know I was super close last week. Um, I completed my 1,000 stitches goal for um, May whip go goal. It was 1,000 stitches. Um, so since I seen you last, I finished this owl and I put this whole owl in and maybe that motif there too. So there you go. And that was my 1000 stitches. This pattern is a free pattern from Owl Forest Embroidery. You go to their website, then go to freebies or free or something like that. Um, and you will find this pattern. I'm stitching this in the Owl Forest Embroidery called for flosses that I had bought from them and shipped over from Russia so but there is a DMC conversion as well and it is beautiful too and this is 18 count brown Ada that I had in my stash look I remembered all the things I'm trying to knock over my shawl it's fine <sighs> okay finished that whip go one may whip go done i said i was going to try to get both of the may whip goes done so the other one was to complete this whole pattern i'm not gonna make it um the only other thing i stitched on 
Oh, you know what? I think that I was working on this during Saturday chat because Friday chat, I did this and I finished it. Um, this pattern that I'm working on is the Prairie Schooler at Prairie Garden. I'm beating it up. Look at how bad it's getting. Somebody who does plants and gardens and stuff out there, can you tell me what all of these flowers are? Can somebody please, pretty please, tell me what the names of all of these flowers are? Um, this is a thistle. This is a sunflower. And I'm out. That's it. That's all I got. Um, somebody help me. Like, and maybe you guys could just like one, two, three, four. Five is a sunflower, six, seven is a thistle, eight, is eight a buttercup? Nine, 10, 11, 12. And is that a columbine? Uh, I would really love to know the names of each of these types of flowers. It does not, before you ask, I will, doesn't say anywhere on the pattern um, what they are. Because on the Prairie Garden 2, which Lara Landis from the Pattern Queens has, and we're going to swap when we're done. Um, it says the names of all the flowers on that pattern. It doesn't say it on this pattern either. The reason I ask is when I get to stitching challenges, um, there is such thing as a foxglove flower. Uh, I was thinking, and one of the challenges I need is to stitch on something with a glove. A foxglove would work. So I don't know if I have a foxglove here. It maybe kind of looks like that one, but I'm not 100%. Um, again, I feel like somebody out there is a flower expert and can tell me what all of those pretty flowers are. I would be ever so, so happy for your assistance. Okay, so I stitched on that. And I'm stitching this on a Zweigart 18 Count Ada Metallic. It's got gold woven in. This is my pattern that I fully kitted up and started at Keepsakes. Stitch gone. And bam, I got the thistle done. Yes. I actually do really need to get to my LNS now that I'm thinking about it because I'm going to stick with these greens because I really love these greens. But I need to pull the next flower color. This is charted in all DMC. But, um, like... It uses two different purple DMCs there. I just grabbed one um, variegated Voss. I, I grabbed Grape Pie by Classic Colors, and I just used that. So I would like to um, convert the rest of them to use the variegated in the same color wave-ish. So there's that. It's a finish. I should have had that first. I didn't think about it. Woo, finish. Uh, I have that in a mm, Cricklewood Crossings. Woo, my brain. Oops, I forgot to put the pattern down. Oh, I love it when I can pull up the thoughts out of my head sometimes it's amazing okay those are all my whips we're only 24 minutes in we're doing good guys we're going back we're doing good I do have quite a bit of haul but it's okay and then I have some magical stuff to show you at the end too um first before haul I have a stitch of kindness um let me make sure I went over all my whips the owls the thistle Year two, the Spooky Hollow. Yes, we're good. Okay. So, I have a stitchy kindness, you guys. Um, Miss Donna, I'm not going to say your last name because I don't know if I can. I didn't ask you. But, oh, my God, thank you so much, Donna. She reached out and messaged me and said, I have that whole series. Which ones do you need? You can borrow them. Bam. Yes. So I have January and February. This is uh, Raise the Roof. And it's literally just January, February. Like, you guys can see my struggle with trying to find these patterns. 
Um, January says, January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. Let me, write, let me make it rhyme. And then she also gave me March and April, not give me borrowed, loaned, loaned, March and April. And I'm super excited to have these and be able to add these to my monthly collection. And, um... They will also be screaming at me the entire time I have them. I know she told me to not rush and she wasn't going to get into them anytime soon, but at the same time, there's somebody else's patterns. I got to get them back. So, um, let's see what it says. March brings breezes loud and shrill to stir the dancing daffodil. <gasps> Those are daffodils. I don't have the pattern out anywhere. Those are daffodils because there's daffodils in this. <laughs> April brings the primrose sweet, um, scatters daisies at our feet. There you go. Thank you so much, Donna. Um, I meant to say thank you for this last week, but with all the crazy um, packing and boxes and everything, these, um, I checked the mail, the boys brought me the mail, I think in the garage, so they got left in the garage, and then I couldn't find them, and so, yeah, they are found. I will take them, take very care, very much care of them. Words. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much, Donna. And she sent it. It's got a cute little butterfly on it. Cute. Anyways. Okay. Um, then I told you that Katie and Laura went to Cecilia's. That wasn't the only thing they brought me. They brought me, and I ripped all these packages open, so sorry. Uh, this is 18 count Kelpie. They don't tell you it's over dyed, but they don't tell you like who dyed it here since they're all already open. Why don't I just open and show you? I am like here for some blues. Like, oh, wow, that's getting so washed out. I'm here for some blues lately. Um, wow, it's a really pretty blue, but it's really, really getting washed out. That's a lot darker than this. I wish my lighting was better. I'm sorry. Um, then, so that's Kelpie. I don't know, like, who dyed it and named it Kelpie, but it's Kelpie. And then this one is Caridwin? Caridwin? Laura said it for me, but I don't remember how she said it. And it's really pretty. Yeti like rose color. Oh yeah, there you go. Still getting blown out, but love it, love it, love it. It's got a little bit of orange to it and um, like a dusty rose kind of a color. Super pretty, so I have some more fun 18 counts in my stash. Thank you so much. And then they also gave me a pattern. Sue Hillis's life. Like Sue, Sue I've had, I, I have a bunch of Sue Hillis patterns in my stash. Just haven't stitched them all yet. Um, but it's going to be a thing now. It's going to be a thing now. So they brought me this one. I'll just let you, I should have gave you a warning before I showed it, but it's got a bad word in there. Sorry. I'll just show it. It's super cute though and yeah that's me like all in one day uh-huh yeah I go through all that in one day easy peasy okay next bit of haul that's what that's everything that Laura and Katie brought me that was my Cecilia haul um next bit of haul I fun fact I have been I don't want to say binging, but I have been catching up on um, Bobby uh, from Pumpkin Creek Primitives. She has a lot of videos. I don't know how many, but I am on number like 18, 19 ish. Um, I'm in December of 2020. That's where I'm at. And I watched like one of her newer videos. I think it was a video where she shouted me out. Somebody told me that she shouted me out, so I went and watched it, because I hadn't watched her before, 
and I was like, oh my god, I love her. So I need to go, and I'm a completist, so I'm gonna go back, start at number one, and catch up. So <laughs> it's funny because we've been chatting on Instagram, and I'm like, I don't remember what episode. It was right after Thanksgiving. Um, her family got sick with the COVID and dad was in the hospital and mom found out health problems and it's just all these things were happening. And I mean, I still don't know like what happens, but I know that she got like, she, Bobby herself, I believe had COVID and, or maybe, maybe not. But, um, there was definitely like illnesses going on. So I messaged her and I was like, so I know you live because you're still making videos, but I'm praying for the rest of your family. I said, like, I know you live and I know you're okay. <laughs> I'm praying for the rest of your family. And then she texts me something about like the current status of what's going on. I was like, whoa, spoiler alerts. Like you can't let me, let me catch up. I'll get there. <laughs> spoiler alert on her life <laughs> so crazy anyways all of this to explain Bobby pumpkin Creek primitives floss tube has an Etsy pumpkin Creek print and she sells cross-stitch stuff like um, like like she's an online cross-stitch store um, so she sells like all types of uh, designers, fabrics, flosses, uh, accoutrement, all the things. So go check out her Etsy if you're looking for stuff. Um, she was showing this huge haul that she had just finally gotten in. Like I went through this whole struggle with her of like getting the um, fabric and from Fabric Flare and all the things. So she showed this haul that she got a bunch of Fabric Flare in, and I was like, oh, I really like that. Oh, I really like it. Oh, I really like that one. I was like, what are the chances? that she still has any because it's June and this was in like October <laughs> so I jumped on her Etsy and um, honestly at like 18 19 like she's shown quite a bit of, of like patterns and haul and stuff but a lot of it I was like yeah that's cute but I don't need it right now and then other stuff is like yeah, yeah I already know that's gone there's no way that's there I'm not even gonna go look so this was the first time I was really like pushed to go look at her Etsy and look to see if she had the things she was showing. Um, she had one piece of 18 count Ada left in fabric flare and it's one that I like. It is definitely one that I like. It was not one of like, oh, I have to have that one. But it's definitely one that I like and I was happy to have it. But it is ginormous, folks. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this is my favorite um, Christmas Carol of all the Christmas carols and one I would sing to my boys as a um, like bedtime lullaby thing so there you go look at the modeling I love all the model it looks like old parchment but the song obviously is Silent Night it's the music for Silent Night so I need something to stitch in this area and then I will frame this whole big thing. It's huge, you guys, look at it. That's my head. It's huge. Um, I want I want an amazing Christmas piece to go right here. I don't know what. I really don't know what. But I will someday find it. And I have this in my stash waiting for that pattern when, it, when I find it. And because the fabric can't travel alone, um, I found this super cute chart fairy wool in the wood who I have not heard of before but fairy wool in the wood and it's tea of Halloween oh and I told I told myself that I was gonna look up how to say all these down here but I forgot um mandrake mandragora uh, you know Harry Potter mandrakes but this is like strong I think I just had a stroke. Mandagora. Digitalis purpurea. Hysicomomus. Nope. Belladonna. I know Belladonna and I know Mandragora. That's all I got. 
tea of Halloween. There you go. I'm imagining that like what is down here is what is in the pots. Look at that window. Oh my goodness. That really looks like a mandrake to me. So had to get this chart. Super cute. And then I found this floss drop, um, floss jewelry, thread jewel, the jewelry that goes on the ring, you guys. I'm gonna take it off. The ring. Look at her, is she not just creepy as all get out? This is like one of, like I have some of, um, for Halloween decorations, I have those like, you move and like it shifts like you know what the picture is and I have some in like cool little plasticky frames like this and as you move they turn into like zombies or um, dead people or whatever and I feel like that's what this should do she should change into like a dead looking something she's so creepy pretty but creepy and she threw in these two floss with my Red jewelry. She gave me these two Bluebirds cage from uh, X Ju Design, and it says cotton on the back, but this is the softest cotton I have ever felt in my life. It feels like silk, and I love these colors. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm here for these colors. Why does my? <sighs> I hate that my camera is blowing everything out today. Anyways, it's a really light purple and a cream together. Love that. Thank you so much, Bobby. I don't know if you watch me, but thank you so much. <laughs> I did get the chance to meet her on Sunday. She is coming to the Frog Works retreat. I met Memphis Sarah, Memphis E. Sarah. Um, yeah. Whew. Okay, we're doing good. Last piece of Stitchy Hall. I saw this Garon um, Garon tote bag, toting bags. They've been doing the states, and I'm from Colorado, and I love Colorado. Colorado will always be my home. Um, currently live in Missouri, but I saw they had a Colorado bag, and I was like, well, I don't need it. I don't need it. I got enough bags. I don't need it. And they were gonna list uh, like all these extra bags or, or like they like kind of do a post in their group that says like all the bags that will be posted <sighs> my whole entire leg is dead you guys um, they did a post all the bags that were gonna be released on Saturday and I was not gonna go fight for a bag I wasn't gonna go and like try to jump on their website and snatch it before anybody else before like and then have your cart freeze up and just not I'm gonna do it. I didn't need a bag. I didn't need it. Then on like Sunday or later on Saturday, I don't remember, they posted, we still have these bags left in the um, website. And there was the Colorado one. I don't need it. I don't need it. But I go to the website and I go look real close at it. I'm gonna go look real close at it and see like I really don't need it. When we'll see that I don't need it. And I go look real close at it. And I'm like, if it's got something on there that I like absolutely die over, then maybe. So I go and look real close. And you guys, I died. I don't need it, but I got it. <laughs> and I love the way the fabric kind of lines up here. It kind of duplicates a little bit. What sent me was, again, I'm from Colorado, and I feel like there's always the same Colorado things that you see on fabric. Um, these are a little bit off-brand. Some of them are. Some of them are a little bit what you would expect. But um, my husband's family ancestry, I've literally traced his ancestry to this San Luis Valley in Colorado since before it was Colorado and before it was New Mexico territory and then it was Mexico. That 
that's how long they've been in that valley. And this fabric says San Luis Valley on it. And it has an elk right next to it. Pikes Peak. We've got the Rocky Mountain Columbine. Centennial State. Um, but San Luis Valley, I zoomed in, I saw San Luis Valley and I was like, oh, no, I have to buy it. Um, let me show you. Why does it flip on me? Okay. Um, Garden of Gods, Boulder, Mesa Verde National Park, Rocky Mountain Coleman, I said that. Lark bunting is the state bird. Um, Dinosaur National Monument. I've kind of, I've told um, Michelle about this. That she needs to go take Rosie there. Um, Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. It doesn't say that on there, but that's what it is. Pikes Peak, Denver. What does that say? No, just the Rocky Mountains. Um, so some of this is what you would expect, but yeah, having the San Luis Valley on there and that that's what did it for me, honestly. So I was super excited to show my husband that when it came home. I thought that was really cool. So I have it now. Oh, and the inside. I showed you this bag for like a full 15 minutes. I'm sorry. The inside is basically, it says Colorado and it says like all of those same words in a print. And they're like really good sized bags. Um, here's my 11 by 11 Q-snap with extra fabric on it and everything. Went straight in there, no problem. So good size bags. That was my last little bit of stitchy haul plans is to just keep working on frogworts. Um, I'm going to just keep going. Uh, Whipco numbers got called. It was like 2 and 17. That's all right. I don't remember. Maybe 2 and 12. 2 and 12. 2 and 21. I don't remember. Sorry. Go look at Whipco. Um, if you're in the Whipco group you probably know what numbers and you're already screaming at me but I do know what I'm supposed to stitch on I need to stitch a um, finish a whole one of those full coverage Christmas ornament ones the one like I did already one that has a penguin on it um, there it's from a dimensions kit I should have brought it over here so I can show you guys but they're about this big and they're full coverage that was my goal was to stitch a whole one of those Okay, you do you. That was that was past Athena. I don't think present Athena is gonna get that done. The other one is to I think a thousand stitches on my chopping mall, which is actually really good because chopping mall will fit in with some of the prompts for Frogwarts. So that may get added to my Frogwarts list of options to grab. But first and foremost, what will be grabbed is Harry Potter. So hopefully I will have a finish on this, not by next Tuesday, because next Tuesday is like the Tuesday right before retreat happens. Retreat starts on Wednesday. But the following Tuesday, I will hopefully have a finish on this. Cross your fingers. You know how they say about best laid plans. Because I'm looking at my 25-7 over there that I haven't touched since StitchCon. That's what I got for plans. I think that this is just going to be the majority of my time. Like seriously, all of my time this next week. That and I have family coming for 4th of July. Nico's birthday celebration is for is this 4th of July. He's going on his New York BC trip. So I got to get him ready for that. Um, packing and, you know, he needs a haircut and like needs to look like a human again. Um, and I have family, like I said, I have family coming this weekend. So I need to clean, 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 clean. Because, you know, when family comes over, you got to make sure your house looks like it's not lived in. Duh. <laughs> don't know why that's a, the standard. Um, and Katie and Lara's birthday is being celebrated this weekend. Um, we're going on a road trip because, duh. 
so we're going to doing that on Saturday, July 4th is Sunday. Happy 4th of July, everybody. If you um, are in the United States and you celebrate, um, celebrate safely, please. Please keep all the fingers and toes. Um, don't blow up any body parts. Um, I think that's all I got. Uh, I do have magical haul. Don't go away. Don't go away. I do have magical haul. Um, but that's all I got in case you want to peace out after before magical haul, which I'm totally cool with. So I still have my whole box of stuff from, um, Beth. Uh, I think I'm going to just keep holding on to that because I need to have stuff to show you guys every week. Because this was a new purchase that I just made this week. You guys, I die. Run, don't walk. To your nearest Kohl's. And for $10 each, you can, you too can own this adorable stuffed animals. It's box. $10, guys. Look, focus. $10. Um, I know it's licensed merchandise and I'm trying to stay away from that, but oh my god, and it goes to charity. <laughs> he's so cute. I'm an adult, I promise. I don't need stuffed animals, but he's so cute. Um, his feet are crooked. I don't know if that's on purpose. <laughs> it might be. Or maybe he's just wonky. That's okay. He's adorable. Fox. And of course, Hedwig. I love him. He's so soft. He's so soft. I don't want to get my makeup on him, but he is so soft. I love it. There's more. We're going to keep going. This is so soft. That's a giant pygmy puff. Like, oh my god, soft. Oh my god. So soft. There are five total stuffed animals, Harry Potter themed stuffed animals at your Kohl's right now. Um, his little ears all floppy. <laughs> I love it. Crookshanks! Oh, I love him! And he's like that same super soft as the Pygmy Puff. Oh, Crookshanks. Oh my god, his own little tail. Have you guys ever seen a fully grown woman freak out over some stuffed animals? Because you guys, this is the one that sealed the deal for me right here. I'm a cat person. I totally am. I love cats. But when I saw people posting this one online, I knew I needed to get to the Coles and get this because this character does not get enough representation in memorabilia and stuff like that like you see fluffy all the time right there's the three-headed dog like all the plate all over the place but do you ever see fang <laughs> he is freaking adorable <laughs> he's got his little jowls <laughs> his tongue his floppy ears Oh my gosh. I knew I had to go get him. He's a little tail. I love he got like rolls. He's got rolls. Oh, Fang. I have to warn you, he's a bit of a coward. But I love him. <laughs> there you go. There's your Harry Potter haul. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Bang, Crookshanks, Hedwig, ah! Fox, one more guys, one more, we can do this. And a pygmy puff, there, oh, got them all, this, like, I'm gonna make this my one that I share on Instagram. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. It's totally fine. Um, so that's your magical haul this week. And to tell you that those are still in the cold stores right now, I just bought them like this last week. So go buy those. Um, da 
that is all I have for you guys. And look, we're out of an hour. Just under an hour. It's fine. Um, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to try to get this uploaded tonight so that it goes live 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, I got some stitching I need to get done. Um, maybe a little bit of more housework before I get to the stitching. I want a giant house, babe. I want all the rooms, babe. That was me. That, this was my idea for this giant house. That's not a giant house, but seriously, there's too many rooms in this house. Okay, I'm going. Midwest goodbyes. I will talk to you guys next week. Um, happy 4th of July. Stay safe. Uh, all of love. Bye.